Well, the pandemic accelerated the growth of online shopping, putting brick and mortar stores in a difficult spot. But as KPX 5's John Ramos discovered, small businesses have learned to adapt. Here in the shopping district of Oakland's Rock Ridge neighborhood, they decided to add some music to their marketplace. We thought it was a good opportunity to come talk to people about how small businesses are doing these days. Compared to two years ago, it is all right for the small businesses that line College Avenue. This morning, people were back out on the streets as Rock Ridge held its rock and stroll promotion, featuring live music in various spots along the shopping district. Some people are holding their pocketbooks a little tighter, but we seem to be pulling through pretty well. At Mignon, a vintage home decor store, manager Sav Trinqueze says they learned their lesson in the Great Recession of 2009. They diversified, adding furniture refinishing and reupholstering, and that helped them weather the pandemic, especially with so many people stuck in their homes. I think with everything that's going on in the world, uh, you kind of need a little escape sometimes, so why not just make your home your little haven? But there is no escape from the competition of the huge online retailers. Marty Nemco doesn't like it, but admits it's hard to avoid. Even I, who recognizes the value of community and local stores, I end up buying a lot on Amazon because the selection is so great, price is so great, and I get it at my door in a day. That's not a concern at Cutting Up on College, where Marianne Valentine has been styling hair for nearly 40 years. She's had to adapt to all the tech workers who have moved into the neighborhood lately. Um, it's good because they can't get their haircuts on Amazon, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you're protected from Amazon a little bit? Yeah. yeah, but they can buy the clippers and try, and then we fix it when they mess up. So. But just as shopping has evolved, so have the brick-and-mortar businesses. They offer live sidewalk concerts as an experience you can't get online. At Planter Day, owner Matt Day and his partner Yumi consider their greenery to be a healing, comforting force against the stresses of everyday life. And to connect to the community, they offer their store as a venue for gatherings like this recent comedy show. It's all part of adapting to a rapidly changing environment. We've had to be more realistic, think bigger, uh, and at times, scale back and just learn to adjust. So I think we've learned to become really resilient. There is no going back. The online retailers will always be an option. But small businesses are learning that their customers don't just want to add to their possessions, they want to add something to their lives. In Rockridge, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The rock and roll free music events began earlier this year and they are held every two weeks along College Avenue in Rockridge. Sakima Williams, Gabby Castro and uh, others are just a couple of local artists performing along College Avenue tonight.